Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. It's here, it's the issue nobody has been waiting for. It is issue 6 of Warhammer 40,000 Conquest. The dullest issue to date. Why is it dull? Because it's got a sprue of Death Guard that they've already given us in a previous issue. Boo to that. Hold your ears everybody, I'm rustling. You will, of course, notice, um, if I can finish wrestling, you will, of course, notice that there is no protective packaging for these Death Guard. The last time we got these Death Guard, they came in a nice little package with um, with a space for a pot of paint and a space for some dice and space for bases. And this time, it's just three things chucked in a bag. Now, this that's going to be par for the course. Now, from now on, um, we are into... We're at issue six here, so we're in the period where this magazine is no longer stocked in stores. Games Workshop was only stocked into issue four. Most news agents will probably drop it off at issue four as well. So they don't need to worry about protecting this stuff going into shelves, going into retail. Um, they're all going to be going into boxes um, with for four issues at a time so they can get away without the packaging. And that's fine by me because, you know, the less plastic packaging there is in the world, the, the better really, isn't it? But anyway, here they are. Here's the Death Guard. It's the same same three we've already seen. And look, there, the base is boring. I mean, the, the, these Death Guard miniatures. I'm, I'm being, I'm being flippant. I'm going to bring them back for a second. These Death Guard miniatures, they're decent miniatures. I do like them. Um, I'm not overly keen on the uh, the leader figure. He's um, he's not one of my favourites. But um, but they're good. They're good, solid Death Guard miniatures. And you know, it gives you a second. A second unit of three Death Guard. It's just, it's just a shame that they're recycling miniatures we've already seen, and we're only six issues in. I mean, I've I've looked at the picture of of, of what you're going to get over the course of the subscription period, and there is a lot of duplication in there. And, and in order to make sort of valid armies and things like that, um, in order to bulk up ranks, I mean, there's loads and loads of Pox Walkers in the in the picture. I think there's, there's well over thirty. Um, and you know they're not going to give you 30 pox walkers in one issue that's going to be something that they're going to keep coming back it's what pox walkers do really they just sort of you know create more of themselves and keep on chugging along so um so you know i, I can understand it but but if you want to give some more death guard there's there's other death guard miniatures um but of course the other death guard miniatures are sort of super expensive multi uh you know multi pose multi you know, weapon option sprues because blah. But yeah, um, it also seems a bit of a shame to go back to a unit of easy build plug and play miniatures after last issue with the um, with the the Lieutenant Calcius, which you had to put together with glue, and he had a head option. So it's kind of like they went, okay, we're going to take you to the next step, and then you get to the next step, and they go, oh no 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 no, come back, come back, too soon, too soon. We'll do that later. Um, so yeah, that's that's it's it's a bit of a shame, and it's just it just makes the issue a little bit boring when you. I mean, one of the things that's exciting about a Partworks magazine is like, what are you going to get in the next issue? What can you do with your next thing? And um, I mean, yes, maybe they're introducing people now to the drudgery of having to paint the same miniature over and over again for an army game. Uh, I don't know. The Tainted Sons. Death Guard organization and your biggest battle yet. Well, it would be, wouldn't it? Because you've got more miniatures than you've ever had before. So, oh, oh, yeah. Um, value. That's a ten pound sprue. That's the other thing. Uh, it's you know you've paid eight quid for this issue. That's a ten pound sprue. I could get that that sprue for eight quid or less. So I don't see this issue as being good value certainly not in in the scheme of other things i mean like I said, i'm good i'm working out all the values based on retail so you know you, you've saved two quid by buying this magazine as opposed to buying that in the store and you get a little magazine as well so there's a bit of value there but it's it's certainly nowhere near the value that's been evident in any of the other issues so there look it's the tainted suns all will rot all shall decay. Welcome to the world of Warhammer 40,000, kiddies. I still think Death Guard... I love Death Guard, but it was it's definitely... I know exactly why they did it, obviously, because Death Guard Ultramarines, that's the current um, the Dark Imperium box set. Death Guard Ultramarines are, are what's in 
the storyline at that point that they've released these starter sets and this magazine has come out um, and in fact if you look at any other games workshop branded products that are coming out at the moment it's all death guard ultramarines the uh the the dice masters sets that came out was death guard ultramarine um and then there was some other stuff that's just eluded me it was in, it was in my head a second ago and now it's gone oh yeah um i think that there's like death guard and ultramarines are on the cover of the new um uh one forty thousand monopoly set that's coming out um uh, and yeah, there's 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 other there's other things as well, but it's it's obviously it's their it's their thing at the moment, so I get that. But at the same time, this is this is supposed to be aimed at younger people, and I don't know, maybe they they could have gone for something a little bit less, a little bit less. <laughs> I, I I don't know. I don't know. what do, what do people think. I mean, I I I play one forty thousand with my with my daughter, and and she's not even eight yet. And um, I play the Death Guard. She plays the Ultramarines, and she knows that my my baddies are gross, but she doesn't pay enough attention to really think about you know what it all means. So I don't worry too much about it. Um, when we when we play, our our soldiers knock each other out or they run away. Um, they don't they don't explode and have the entrails go out everywhere. Uh, I'm gabbling. Plague Company. There's some stuff about about how they are, how how the Death Guard are organised. I've got to show you that page. I was chatting. Um, Colours of Contagion, the Pallid Hand, the Mouldering Claw, the True Cost of Nurgle's Blessing. Underneath their rusted and pitted helmets, the Plague Marines are horribly decayed and fused into their armour. Their heads are a gruesome mass of pox and disease studded with pipes and tubes. Instead of purifying the air they breathe, their respirators now pump vile Nurgle-blessed substances through their putrid bodies. Hey, kiddies! <laughs> oh, who else we got? Um, we got Carrion Hounds, Heralds of Despair, the Poisoned Chalice, and the Corpse. <laughs> the Corpse Makers. Why not? Hey, look! Clippers and glue safety! Except there's no picture of the glue because you don't need glue for these because they're easy to build. But it's still those, they're still the uh, the cheapy clippers. But yeah, so they've just they've even just reused that bit as is and then even not just put the glue in, glue in. It's, it, that's lazy cut and paste, lazy cut and paste job to fill another page. And then they've obviously that's the same. That's, I, I don't need to look at the previous time we got Death Guard Marines to know that that's the same pictures because they wouldn't take different pictures, would they? And there you go. There's the same instructions that we had for them before, and um, it's going to be a slightly updated painted guide because we've got more paints this time. But all this bit, these first sections, adding the Avalon Black and the Retributor Armor, that's um, and, and the Lead Belcher. That's all been done before, and and obviously the Bugman's Glow as well. The Death Guard's still looking like they need a little of something on there. I think once we've got, once they've got some washes on there, they'll really start to pop. But there we go. Bring the plague. Bring the plague. -oo. Squad warfare. They're revisiting. Yeah, everything in this issue is revisited. Boo. Um, stop the Poxwalkers. Yeah, so you've got a big battle. They've got the Poxwalkers. They've got two units of Death Guard. And they've got... Um, Reavers and intercessors. No, no, Lieutenant Calcius. Lieutenant Calcius missing in action. Where well, is the lieutenant? Um, rules revisited. Moving units. Unit uh, cohesion. All that stuff. It's it's largely um, units in the shooting phase. It's just it's it's pretty much just splitting fire. Units in the charge phase. All right, so. Then units in the fight phase. And then stop the poxwalkers. Replay mission five. Yeah. Um, six poxwalkers, two units of three plague marines against three intercessors and three reavers. There's the uh, the mini data card thingies. Um, bits about special rules. And then replay with extra rules. Open the arsenal with extra extra weapon options um yeah it's it, you know it feels the whole thing feels it's 
it's just a, a rehash, it really, isn't it? It really, it really is a rehash of what they've already covered. That's a shame, really, because we're we're only six issues into the magazine, and I feel like, like, you know, it, 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 you know, it's it's a it's a duplication thing, and that that kind of leaves a bit of a bad taste in my mouth. Um, but there we go. So anyway. That's that's where we are, and then we've got on the back we've got our little um, little little bits about next issue. We've got Null Oil and Agrax Earthshade coming up in the next issue, and then in the issue after that, dun 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 dun, dun, dun sneak peek. Wow, yeah. Next in issue eight, they're giving away a Primaris Librarian. That's pretty huge, and we will talk about that another time because I don't want to get into that now, but. That's very impressive. That really is. That's a good issue. I'm very impressed with that. But I'm not very impressed with this issue. This issue. This is one of those filler issues. But I'm going to put up the, the pricing and stuff like I always do. That'll be going up here. And um, and let me know in the comments what you think. Um, maybe, maybe I'm just being a negative Nancy. Um, but let me know. And I'll see you all soon. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.